Hey everyone, it's Richard Metal Fan here, bringing you guys a another 2022 album review. And as you can see below the title, we're going to be talking about the new album from the almighty creator entitled Hates Uber Alleys, which is out now through Nuclear Blast Records. Now, I don't really need to go much into creator. I'm pretty sure a lot of you know who they are. Part of the Teutonic thrash metal it'll seen in Germany with a lot of bands like Destruction, Sodom, and Tankard. Uh, been around since the mid 80s um one of my favorite bands and they've put it putting out albums since their debut album which came out in 1985 entitled dulled and endless pain i believe believe and i just think from there it's put been really fairly consistent um and this of course is the band's 15th album which is crazy that we're at album 15 and this follows up their previous album which came out in 2017 gods of violence which i thought was a pretty good album but with this album does it kind of live up or exceed what uh, gods of violence has in my opinion i think it definitely has i think uh, the band really stepped up their game they definitely have with all their albums it's just a pure just thrash metal mania and one thing to note is just the vocals from uh, millie petroza like his vocals just sound really commanding, really powerful here. Um, and then his guitar playing is really great. Well, is with Sammy's and just both Millie and Sammy just both come up with some really great riffs on the fly. Um, the bass playing is pretty audible. First album with their uh, current bassist, Frederick Leclerc, best known as the former bassist for Dragon Force. He had joined the band a few years ago and he does a really great job fitting in. He, and his, his bass playing is really heard on here and drumming wise uh venter does a really great job keeping the beat and the rhythm and the sick blast beats all throughout all right, so without further ado let's dive into this album track by track now starting things off is a little intro called sergio corbuzzi is dead and it's a really short intro it's like a 58 second long less than a minute um and it just sounds really very classic sounding and it pretty much with a great calm to the storm before we lead into the title track like hey uber alleys which i think is a perfect starting thing point it's just all in your face it's just some um, ferocious thrash and it's a per perfect kind of like encapsulation of the sound that creator is known for and it just really goes well and it really just flows in well with the next song a killer of jesus this and it's a blazing fast track and it has an old school kind of like creator sound that just unfolds right from the get-go um next song is called crush the tyrants now this song is kind of very moderate pace and it's a very heavy pounding track and it's a great counterpart to what we've heard so far with this album um strongest of the strong is up next now this kind of reminds me of something from like their first couple albums being like extreme aggression endless pain uh, coma souls shit like that and it's a very anthemic kind of vibe without really capturing the imagination and some i've panned this to an this first release and i could see why but i feel like there's also kind of like a darkness to it that salvages it from like the average kind of like pile um next up is become immortal now become immortal in my opinion is one of the weakest songs on the album harking back to like the band's metal roots it's kind of the lyrics that i don't know musically it sounds good but the lyrics just don't work for me and i just feel like this song sounds a little bit cliche and then but I think they really made up with the next song called Conquer and Destroy. Now, this song is just a raging fireball. It's a track that allows Ventor to show his precision and really great display that retains the delivery that gets you humming along. And I feel like is it followed by the most interesting approach taken by Millie throughout the whole album. And I think it's another great song. Um, next up is Midnight Sun. Now, this pretty much shows the versatility of this album. And if this song is very more melodic and in a moderate pace, with a has a special guest singer or called Sophia Potone, which gives it a slight different touch and feel than what we've heard so far. And her vocals are a smartly integrated counterpart to Millie's metal shouts, and it, for some reason it just oddly really fits. And the, the both voices go together very well, and the, the really the chorus in that song really proves. Um, next song is called demonic future now this pretty much brings a very powerful message across speaking about the future generations and what they will have to face because what we have done and the future is bleak and nature is dying it's just a really sick song and it and it really has a great message to it and then we get to pride comes before the fall another sick song i'd love it and then we close things out with dying planet now this pretty much is a really great way to end things off with a banger now this pretty much 
everything we heard so far just turned up to 11 and just shows how fucking pissed Millie is with the state of the world right now. And this song sound, musically kind of sounds something like symphonic black metal than the traditional thrash. And it's a perfect pitch black conclusion to an album amidst like the global chaos that we're currently living in right now. Now overall, Hate Uber Alleys by Creator, another great album to their discography. This is worth waiting five years. So I'm gonna give this album a score. I'm gonna give this a solid nine out of 10. So yeah, that's my review of the new Creator album, guys. Let me know in the comments you guys think about it, and I'll see you all in the next video. And as always, keep it metal. Dakashun.